Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you for this moment for so many reasons, Lord. Thank you for uh, instilling in our players the, the, the motto of every second and, and going out and giving our all every single night and giving glory to you, Lord. We ask that you bless the entire LR family and let us know the reason why we're here because of you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Not much to talk about, okay? It's the reason why you are here, okay? Your last two teams standing in the state, all right? Now, do not get caught up in, and I know you're not, okay? Do not get caught up in the whoops of me, okay? That, that was not the state championship, okay? This team is very good. They're fundamental. They don't make any mistakes, okay? Now, as far as their personnel, remember, five is probably their better player, best player, okay? Very quick. Remember, we worked on James and all you guys. Kelvin, do not give him a straight line drive to the basket. I want to give him a step, just turn him a little bit, but we can't press up too much where we foul him or he gets fouled, and now they have numbers going the other way, okay? So just stay solid, stay in front of him, make him work a little bit. Number 40 as well, as far as boxing him out, shot goes up, got to know where he's at, okay? He cannot, he's going to hit the glass hard. But everybody in here can play as hard as they can. This is the last game. Everybody can play as hard as you can. Just go out there and fly around. Play hard and smart. Okay, and everything else will take care of itself. All right, at the end of the night, you will come out to stay champion. Okay, but don't give them anything. All right, have a killer mentality, man. All right, you got a chance to do something special. That's, I mean, you've got probably 80% of the crowd out there. All right, everybody understand that. So, so, anything so, else, so, <coughs> there you can make your dream a reality, man. I'm telling you, man, like, you will never understand how, how much important it is to you later on down the line in life after you turn, as a senior, raise your hand. After we win this state championship tonight, you're going to understand you have rebuilt the foundation of Lord Richard basketball. You have rebuilt the foundation of Lord Richard basketball. So, like Coach said, every second, man, fly around, do everything you can do, because after the game, you want to have no no regrets. I wake up next morning like, man, if I was just playing defense that possession, I stole the ball, I did this, hit this, did that. This, tonight, no regrets, man. Everything you got. There's a lot of high school players that stand tonight, guys, that wish they were playing tonight, okay? You have a chance to do that. Take advantage of that. Stay locked in each possession. This is the last game. You're not leaving anything on the floor. No regrets when you come in here, okay? Every single thing you got, okay? We say every second at the beginning of the season, look where we at, okay? Every second while we out here to win a state championship. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Every second on three. One, two, three. Every second. Tip-off was quickly approaching. The fans could not wait for this well-anticipated matchup to start. And neither could I. So with that being said, let's get right into the action. I hope you enjoy the show. And to set the tone, forward John Cannon hit a beautiful three-point basket. Along with this nice backdoor cutting leg. This will be quickly followed with a strong layup and transition from his opposition, Tavon Higgins. And adding to the layup party would be star senior guard Jacor Nelson on this play. But taking no breaks, guard Isaac Ford knocked down a well-contested three-point basket 
to spur a steep run for the Hurricanes. One that allowed star guard Trey McGowan to throw down this ferocious dunk and transition to send his bench into an absolute frenzy. I guess you could say it was breathtaking as well. And continuing the onslaught, the Hurricanes small trio added numerous layups at the rim to extend their early lead. Some that included going through some contact as well, which allowed them to show off their guns that they worked so diligently for. And yeah, the Hurricanes looked unstoppable, running on all cylinders, which forced this time out from the Diamond Hornets. They led the game 24 to 6. Their confidence was at an all time high, taking a break to read as well. <laughs> Coming out to cut into the lead, Lowe Richler hit two timely threes to bring it within striking distance, giving Nelson a jolt of energy to make this momentum changing play and transition. Giving Lowe Richler fans all the reasons to turn up, which in turn inspired his senior guard, Savion Towson, to get another crucial still in score to send Lowe Richland to have time only trailing by single digits. Lowe Richland was back in the game. I told you we was going to make a run and here's another one coming. All right, we're about to shut them down and we're going to come back and take over, okay? You got to do it every possession though, okay? You can't go hard for two possessions and take one off, all right? If you're tired, let me know. We got plenty of guys ready to go, okay? Remember, hard and smart, okay, let's get layups, let's push and transition. No lazy pass, don't give them the layups and the dunks, okay? Y'all got it? Hey, one, two, one, two, one. Hey, spread out of here, get out, get out of here. Get out of Coming out of halftime, reawakened. Star senior guard Clyde Trap made his first noise on the night with this lane traffic. And continuing his star studded performance, Nelson added this nice finesse layup in transition. While also ending the quarter with a smooth three point jumper to cut the lead within three. Diamond Hornets fans couldn't be more ready for the fourth. And neither could Clyde. As he began to assert himself not only on the offensive end, but on the defensive end as well. Forcing this key turnover on this play. But unfortunately, guard, Jacor Nelson got seriously injured on this play. He would miss the rest of the game. It was time for Clyde to step up. And he did just that. Scoring at his absolute will inside the painted area. Finishing with force. And a little finesse as well. And yeah, the Hurricanes would score sparingly, but they were down and forced to foul for the remainder of the game. giving Clyde a chance to seal it from the line. He would split the free throws, but would get another chance with this crucial rebound from Savion Townsend. And doing it again, Savion secured another clutch offensive rebound that would eventually lead to Clyde hitting both free throws to seal the championship for the Hornets. They were officially state champs. I told 
You know, that's the way to fight back. And that's what we do. We let them know that we still in this thing. You understand? Yes, we still in it. And guess what? You finished as champions. Yes, and see, that's what it's all about, y'all. That's what it's all about. It was 24 to 6 at one point. 24 to 6. 45 to 18. 24 to 6. We ended the game 45 to 18. All right? That's domination. All right? Here's the thing. We can come out and do that. All right? So, younger guys, now here's where you start to work, okay? Because LR, this is standard, man. All right, this is standard. When you talk about the JoJo English and the Stanley Roberts, they expect to be here, all right? And that's the reason why I came to LR, because I expect to be playing the first weekend in March, all right? That's the reason why I came here, okay? Y'all made history, okay? I'm proud of y'all. Y'all made history to get that trophy back to LR. Y'all be remembered forever. Like I said, young guys, your turn now. It ain't no drop off, okay? We're gonna be that much better next year, all right? Great job, man. You're going to meet it right here, okay? Let's go. Every second. One, two, three. Every second. Good job, guys. What is up, my good people? Thank you for watching again. Thank you for tuning in again. If you like this video, hit the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. Um, I had a blast making it and being a part of the journey, being a part of the road to the chip. Man, I'm so proud of Lower Richland and everything that they embody, everything that they went through, man. More content is coming. More content is coming and it's coming soon, man. Episode 7 of Something's Finest is coming soon. The Diamond Sets Classic recap is coming soon. So be prepared, man. I have a lot of other stuff. Working with a lot of dope people in the summer, man. Doing another series in July. It's going to be a fun-filled, content-filled summer. So stay with me, man. Stay wavy. Stay godly. Stay blessed. Always keep God first. And one last thing. Know me.